Well, welcome to the video series on creating niche review websites. And these can also be just niche content websites. You don't necessarily have to review things. I've always found that that works best and makes you the most money. The thing I love about this method is it's completely hands off. You know, you don't have any customers, you don't have any support. Uh, it's basically just creating websites, getting them ranked, and then kind of collecting money on autopilot, whether it be from you know, Amazon, AdSense, or any other affiliate program. They're a great, great way to get started. Um, they're very easy to set up. I'm gonna walk you through the entire process. Um, and I've been using them for years and they create a great passive income. A lot of them, depending on which type of market you do them on, can continue to make you money uh, months after months, years after years. So with niche review websites, we're basically basically going to want to monetize them by using either the AdSense, um, you know, Google AdSense, which is very easy. Um, or I also, lately, I've really liked using the Amazon affiliate program. And the reason I do like that so much is because, well, for one, Amazon is huge. Um, they have so many different products. Um, everybody knows Amazon. They trust Amazon. You know, I don't know anybody who has any you know, thinks it's risky, you know, to order off Amazon. They're just so big, such a household name. They convert very, very well. And the thing I love about them the most is no matter what type of product you promote on Amazon, you'll get paid on anything that customer buys. Now there is, you know, a window they have to buy within, uh, but you can be advertising one thing and they can buy something completely different and you still get a commission. And because Amazon sells just about, you know, everything under the moon, it's a great way to make a nice affiliate income by using Amazon. You can also use um, affiliate programs like Commission Junction. I use them a lot. Um, and Share a Sale, shareasale.com is another great one that I've used a lot. They have a lot, a lot more, uh, you know, kind of like niche programs. They don't have a lot of the huge advertisers like Commission Junction. Commission Junction has a ton of the big, well known advertisers, where Share a Sale has a lot more of, you know, kind of niche websites which are great because they can be easier to rank for because they're in small markets. So that's how we're gonna monetize them. What we're gonna do is, of course, we're gonna build a site with WordPress, um, and then we're gonna look for low competition terms that we can go after to easily rank for. Um, and of course, you know, ranking high is how we're gonna get our traffic, ranking high on the search engine. So again, we're gonna look for several types of products, um, then we're gonna look for low competition terms that we can rank for. Um, and on the sites, I recommend that you review the best selling products in that category. You can make a straight content website, there's nothing wrong with that, that just supplies information and you only make money with AdSense. Um, but I like to take, find a product category and then review the best selling products in that category um, and then of course promote those products on Amazon because again, you know, Amazon sells just about everything. Um, and when we do our research, we're gonna choose several different products um, because first we need to find some products or markets we could go after, but then we actually need to go do the keyword research to make sure um, they have low competition and it's gonna be easy to rank for. We don't wanna go into huge markets where it's gonna be you know, so much work to try to rank for. Um, we wanna go ahead and find, pick out several different products and then we're gonna go do keyword research in a following video. So let me just jump over to Amazon. So to get started, let me just center this over here a little bit. First, we need to find some products to promote. So over here you have all their different categories. So just simply pick something you're interested in or just something random. I'm gonna go ahead and look at, look at, I like sports. I'm gonna look at, how about outdoor recreation? And you can see some of their top products. They have sleeping bags, snow gear, water bottles, knives, um, tents, backpacks, um, some head flashlights, binoculars. So again, you just wanna start looking for products you think you could promote. I think sleeping bags would be a pretty low competition market. You know, one thing I, now I, one thing I would avoid is going after huge markets. So I don't wanna make a site that reviews iPods or iPads or Kindles um, or even you know TVs that's a pretty popular category so you want to look for something kind of a little off the radar so for example um, tents would be a great off the radar thing sleep sleeping bags I think is pretty off the radar 
The second thing you want to think about is are people willing to buy this online? Um, so a sleeping bag, pretty easy to ship. I think that's fair to say people would want to buy that online. Same with a backpack, same with a tent. You know, tents are big when they're open, but when they're folded up, they're fairly small. Um, for example, for example, a kayak. I personally don't think a lot of people go online to actually buy a kayak. I could be wrong. I've never bought one, but they're pretty big. I would assume shipping expenses can get um, rather expensive. So in my opinion, I think people go online to research kayaks and then they go to their local sporting store and buy it there. So kayaks is still a viable category. Um, we're going to review you know, products, but on that kind of site, we would probably want to focus on AdSense because people are on there just looking for more information. So AdSense would be a great monetization for that. Um, you know, binoculars, fair to say people would buy that online. Um, so again, now you want to be jotting down, you know, any ideas you're coming across. So I would jot down sleeping bags, tents, you know, backpacks. I could jot that down. This is actually a $50 backpack. You know, you don't want to sell, you don't want to sell stuff that's a couple bucks. So a, a water bottle, you know, they're probably going to be five, ten dollars. You're not going to get very much commission on that. So you want it to be, you know, somewhat expensive to boost your commissions. So I think sleeping bags a great one. Tents is another great one. Um, backpacks, even though this is a $55 backpack, I think I would skip that. Um, snow gear might be one. Let me click on that and kind of see what else. You know, skis, snowboards, you know, snowshoes would be something I think people would buy online. They're probably pretty expensive. Um, helmets, that could be another great category. So again, I just want to be jotting these down. Uh, let's look at sleeping bags again. And actually some of these sleeping bags are pretty cheap. Um, you know, 25 bucks. Here's a $50 one. You know, I'm kind of, when I was thinking sleeping bags in my head, I was thinking of sleeping bags, um, you know, like this one, a zero degree mummy bag. So a sleeping bag where you're going to go somewhere and it's really, really cold. Um, so I think that's a great category as well. Another thing you can do, let me go back to sports and outdoors. Actually, let me jump back to the homepage. Let's say I went to, let's go to golf. Um, you know, I'm actually a pretty avid golfer. I don't buy a lot of my golf clubs online. Um, I go to the local golf store. Um, golf balls, possibly. Again, that's going to be a pretty competitive market. Um, so just right here, you know, I'm not seeing a lot of golf a lot of you know golf items that could be could be good what else do we have here in sports again helmets I think could be a pretty good one go-karts probably not a lot of people buying those online I could be wrong so again that you know that's basically the gist of it there's nothing special or nothing advanced about this we're just gonna go on Amazon and look for popular products um, you know, anytime you want to go back and change the category, let's look at let's look at home and garden. How about patio, lawn, and garden? Um, and another thing you can do is up here you can see best sellers. So I can click on that. That's going to show me the best sellers in patio, lawn, lawn and gardens. Again, we want products that people are actively looking for and buying. So looking at the best seller list is a great place to get some ideas as well. What do we have here? A wireless barbecue thermometer. Now that's pretty cool. Um, and that would be a pretty under the radar niche. I don't know how much demand there is for that, but that's a pretty cool idea. Uh, we got some grill covers. You know, so these are the best sellers. Nothing here is really jumping out at me. A lot of grill covers, a lot of just like insect repellents. Um, light bulbs. I'm not seeing anything too promising in that one. We can go to we can go to baby. That's a popular one. You know, strollers. We can look at best sellers again here. Um, you know, and here we're just popping up a lot of toys. Um, but I think you get you know the idea. We don't need to, to to do this forever here. But again, just go to Amazon, look at some different categories. A category you may be interested, or even a category you're not. Look for products. Um, again, you want to um, find a product that is going to have 
several options so you can have something to review. So for example, a Kindle, you know, you can review, um, you know, the Kindle, the Kindle Touch and the Kindle Fire, but it's not going to give you a lot of opportunity to review different products and rank them. Um, so again, sleeping bags, I think is a great example because there's going to be a lot of different choices of sleeping bags people can buy. There's a lot of different choices of skiing helmets people can buy. A lot of different choices on tents people can buy. Uh, so again, jot down several ideas. I uh, probably want to make a list of five to ten because then we're going to go and do keyword research and look for which ones have the best opportunity um, to be able to rank for. Um, so again, that's it for this video. That is just gathering your initial ideas, your initial data. And now the next, in the next video, we're going to take it a step further and start actually looking at the keyword research and seeing which topics are good ones to go after.